So I'm not quite sure what's up with that flickering business, um, but hopefully I can get that sorted out. Um, So, how's everybody doing in this uh, crazy time? Um, so on the stream, you should be able to see a chat window. Um, what, uh, what device are you guys using for, uh, connecting? Are you using your phones or computers? Okay. Um, so do you see the, um, the chat window on, um, Twitch? Yeah, there we go. All right. So use, um, well, let's see. Laptop, laptop. Okay. Um, use the chat in the Twitch, um, stream for now rather than uh the chat on discord um <clears throat> partly because uh so i've got two laptops set up here in my office uh one of which is my main laptop and that's what i'll do most everything on and then another one that i'm using to kind of monitor the the chat so um it's easier if i uh see the the twitch chat rather than the uh the discord chat um, if this, I can always switch it over and do use the discord chat. If, uh, um, that seems like it's working a little bit better. Um, anyway, all right, well, we'll just, uh, hang out for a couple minutes and, um, um, let me, uh, actually do one other thing here. Okay, so now you get to see my beautiful, beautiful face. Um, let's get that up just a little bit. Okay, minimize that. All right, I'm going to go grab water. I'll be right back, guys.
right. So, um, I guess let's go ahead and get to it. So it looks like, who do we have? We've got Cam, Austin, and Ethan, right? Um, and maybe Zach, too. Zach, are you with us? Well, he's on. He's connected to uh, Discord, but not Twitch. Oh, there he is. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, so Ethan, you are Lil Tramp. That's lovely. Um, all right. Um, well, where are the other six dirtbags? Send a quick Canvas message that we're live. Um, all right, so what, um, oh, and there's Matt. Excellent. Announcements. Right. All right, well, let's get to it. So um, we all got a bit of a surprise, didn't we? Um, that we're going to have to, um, um, like, do stuff online for the next two weeks, possibly more. So uh, this kind of throws a wrench into how the heck we're going to run class because um, it's a little hard to do exams and uh, some of the normal kind of day-to-day -day sort of stuff uh, when we're all uh, not even in the same room. So I thought what we would do today is we'll kind of talk a little bit about plans for how the heck we're going to finish off this semester this way um, and then also kind of walk you through the technology of how we're going to make this all work in the first place so um, so yeah first off let's just sort of talk general plans um, so I'm looking into uh, a way to do the basic skills exam electronically um, and uh, fortunately, we can do things with Edfinity. Um, and so we'll have to lean a lot heavier on Edfinity than we have been throughout the semester up until now. Um, for things that uh, you guys will write on paper, uh, there's a couple of options. There's a pretty popular app called Cam Scanner, um, which basically lets you uh, take your phone and use the camera on it and then take a picture of a piece of paper uh, and then it will kind of like, uh, you know, realize that the piece of paper is rectangular so it'll kind of adjust it so it, it looks right and, and uh, kind of, uh, you know, get rid of the table that your paper's on and so the background stuff so uh, make it easier to read and it just spits out a PDF and you can upload those to Canvas. So. Um, so look around on the app store for an app like that. Cam scanner is the one I remember that, uh, guys have used in the past. I'm sure there's 50 or a hundred others. Um, okay. So, um, in terms of how we'll run class, um, basically for, uh, audio chat with me, uh, we'll do all that through Discord. And now I've deliberately made Discord um, not uh, feed audio into the stream. So anything you say in Discord won't get recorded um, by, on the stream. And so if you ask a question, I'll restate it uh, so that the stream recording will get me restating it. Um, and uh, But then for, for text chat, uh, it's probably easiest to use um, 
the stuff that's built into Twitch um, on, I can kind of show you guys with the webcam here. So I've got this second laptop over there and that's going to, um, oh, that wasn't very effective. Now was it? Okay, let's try this again. Um, maybe you can sort of see it. Um, come on. Let's try. Yeah, there we go. So I've got the second laptop uh, over there that's connected to um, uh, Twitch, so I can kind of make sure that the everything's working okay on the stream. And um, then, um, um, then I've also got my iPad here connected to the computer. We'll talk about what we'll use that for in a moment. Um, yeah, so uh, class stuff, we'll have to kind of improvise. Um, the The good news is that we're kind of at the point of the semester where um, we're going to be doing a lot of applications. So right before break, you know, we finished chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, implicit differentiation. And on Wednesday, we'll kind of pick back up with implicit differentiation and, and kind of some things related to that. Um, and then we'll be able to start doing some applications of things. Um, I also kind of thought that given that we're having to do things kind of electronically, um, I'm not necessarily going to do exactly the same content that we would have uh, if we were in person, just because, you know, we have to adjust. So, um uh, one thing I thought we could do is actually do some mathematical modeling uh, for infectious diseases. Um, not that there's anything in the news right now about infectious diseases of any way, shape, or form. Um, but uh, but actually using a little bit of calculus, uh, it's not that horrendously hard to kind of model how diseases like the coronavirus uh, can transmit. And so... Uh, you guys have probably all seen the, there's a couple variations of uh, things going around on Facebook of flatten the curve. Um, can I get a shout out in the chat window for flatten the curve? No, nobody's going to say, yes, we've seen the flatten the curve thing. All right, well, let me pull it up on YouTube. I mean, uh, and Chrome here, so. All right, so um, here's sort of the idea, right? Uh, and there's various uh, versions of this. Um, this particular graphic, so this one's from the CDC. Of um, So this dotted line is supposed to represent, okay, the capacity of the healthcare system. Uh, intensive care, number of ventilators, things like that, to be able to deal with uh, people coming in with either coronavirus or just normal day-to-day -day kind of uh, needs to go to a hospital. And uh, if basically we all did absolutely nothing, or, or rather continued life as usual, then the sort of orangish curve is what um, uh, what the disease would do. Um, and basically what the orange curve represents is the situation in Italy. So right now, um, there are not enough ventilators, for example, and doctors are basically having to make decisions about who to put on a ventilator and who doesn't get put on a ventilator. And, um, that's obviously a problem. So, uh, the blue curve is the idea here is, there's going to be spread of the disease and that's inevitable um, unless we were all like literally just shut ourselves in our houses for, you know, and not let anybody in. Um, but if we limit the a number of um, uh, uh, interactions that people have with each other, then we slow down the rate at which the disease is transmitted. And so the disease curve, uh, you know, it might be the case that the same number of people get the disease, but uh, it's sort of spread out over time. And so uh, the idea is that you can keep the 
total number of cases at any one time below the system capacity um, for uh, that the hospital can deal with and also deal with, like I said, uh, normal things. So, um, so we can actually talk about like why the curves have these shapes. And uh, there is actually a great article, um, this one uh, in the Washington Post, that um, has a very nice sort of simulation of uh, how you can kind of model uh, the disease transmission. Um, and so um, we'll, we'll actually, without too much trouble, can, uh, can talk sort of the mathematics as to, to how, um, how this all works and how, for example, uh, let me scroll down here, they give a few models. Um, how some of these models um, actually work. Now here they're doing sort of a discrete thing where they have just sort of a, a couple hundred dots representing people moving around sort of randomly. Um, and this kind of model, uh, this sort of discrete model is something actually I'll uh, uh, use in the computer science class and so we can kind of talk about um, that. Um, but with you guys, we'll do something a bit more continuous. So sort of, you know, here we have what uh, it looks like uh, about 200 people. Um, but, you know, what about if we were to sort of think about this in the hundreds of thousands or millions, then you don't necessarily have to treat each person as a dot, you know, in sort of a random simulation like this, but rather, um, you know, we can think about it from a, from a calculus perspective. Um, Okay, right. So, um, so we'll have to just switch gears a little bit. Everything will be fine. Um, we'll we'll kind of figure things out as we go. Um, several of you in my little informal poll had uh, questions about how are we going to do office hours. Well, you're pretty much looking at it right now. So, um, office hours kind of thing. Um, we'll stream uh, stream when I can. Um, but then also, um, uh, I've got another app on my iPad called explain everything. So like if you send a question, I can, uh, sort of record, uh, a video of me, me walking through something. Um, the stream I think would probably work a little bit better. Um, it's that way it's just one thing. And, uh, you know, so if you were, well, the other reason that I'd, I'd rather stream is that uh, you guys can be in Discord and we can communicate back and forth. Um, and so I can actually hear you guys and, and we, can, we can talk through something. Um, there'll be a little bit of a delay um, in communication. So uh, when, when I'm speaking or doing something here on the Twitch stream, it's maybe a second or two lag between when... I do something and when you guys will see it. So we'll have to kind of get used to that lag, but you know, say la vie. Um, okay, so the other thing that I wanted to show you is how we'll sort of do the chalkboard. So let me go back to OBS here. Um, okay, so um, I'm using a program called OBS and OBS allows me to basically uh, switch between uh, different input sources. So um, in this case, different video sources, different audio sources. And one of the things that I can do with it is actually uh, feed in the video or the, the screen from my iPad and transmit that out. So what you're looking at here is the class chalkboard. Um, Um, so the downside is that you guys can't really write on the chalkboard, um, only I can. Um, but the other thing that, that this will do is um, uh, it can automatically save uh, the contents of this screen, and I can add as many pages as I need to it, as a PDF, and I'll be able to put that um, that PDF... Uh, a link to it on Canvas, um, 
And the nice thing is that the PDF will live in Dropbox. And so uh, when you guys click on the PDF uh, on, say, Canvas is where I'll put the link, uh, then you'll see the most updated version every time you reload the, uh, the page. So uh, you'll be able to follow along here and, and look back at sort of the written product of it um, in addition to looking back at the stream. So um, Twitch is a live service, as probably you know, uh, but there's a very easy way that I can export these things, uh, the, the recordings from class uh, to YouTube. And so my plan is uh, basically to export every stream from Twitch to YouTube when it's finished. And the benefit there, obviously, is that you can go back and uh, look back at... Um, look back at the stream or whatever if you need to. Um, also, if, uh, you know, I know not everybody is with us this morning, so obviously they're not SOL. Um, or if, you know, circumstances as to wherever you are um, mean that you can't make it to class one day, then, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I will say, though, that I'm going to be really annoyed if... Um, you know, I'm the only one up at eight in the morning every day because that would be, yeah, that would be annoying. Uh, so plan on being here on time, uh, just as we would in the classroom. Um, okay, so uh, let me let me answer questions if you guys have any about sort of how this is all going to work. Um, so um, yeah, any questions, comments, thoughts? Put in the chat window, see who play. Can you guys type something at all? Oh, there we go. What will exams look like? I have absolutely no idea at this moment. Um, the basic skills exam was what we were planning to do, I think, next week, early next week. Um, that exam is relatively easy for me to computerize um, into um, Infinity or Canvas or something. Um, the, but basically what we'll have to do um, for... Well, not just exams, but also um, really anything is you guys will have to hand write things and then using the the like cam scanner app or something like that, send upload PDFs of it to Canvas. Um, of course, part of the, the uncertainty here, Ethan, is uh, we don't know how long we're going to be on um sort of lockdown, if you will, how long it's going to be until we um, we go back to uh, everybody being on campus. Right now, the plan is for two weeks of online, and then hopefully everybody can come back. Um, but we ought to be prepared for the entire semester to be, um, to be electronic if it has to. So... Um, yeah, so that's a little bit of a mystery right now, and um, I'm, oh, let's see how to put this. We're going to have to be a little bit flexible. So it's not as if we're going to be taking the syllabus as it was written as, you know, in January and doing precisely the same uh, plan. Um, that's just not going to work. So um you know, we still are going to learn some calculus and do some stuff, but we'll have to be a little, little flexible um, with things. Um, the final exam, my hope is that by the time we get to that point, everybody will be back on campus and then that'll be kind of, you know, we'll just do that sort of thing as usual. Um, but there's a lot of mystery here. Um, the and this is something that I'm going to to think through considerably about what to do, um, what to do about things like exams and quizzes, um, 
in the uh, in the short term, I've been you know more worrying about just getting everything up and running. Period, and not some of those uh, fine tooth or you know fine tuned details. Um, so yeah, so let me get back to you with a little bit more detail, but um, don't worry, we'll we'll figure it out. Um, let's see, any other questions? See Matt, Zach, Austin, Mr. Bacon. Any questions? So you guys are real, real awake this morning. This is just like being in the classroom. Okay. Uh, so, um, no, no questions. Okay, good. Um, the other thing I wanted to, to kind of show you guys um, is, and, and let me switch the scene to Chrome. Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to walk you guys through was, um, so, um, excuse me. Um, so, since most of you don't actually have your books with you, um, understandable, because let's be honest, I wouldn't take my calculus book with me over spring break. Um, so um, unless, has everybody made it back to campus to get your things, or are you just hunkered down at home? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, most of you say you have everything. Um, but uh, I know from the poll, um, it doesn't look like everybody does. So we're going to do, um, do something a little crazy, which is switch textbooks mid-semester. Um, and, uh, so let me show you the one that we're going to use. It's called Apex Calculus. And, um, this is actually the book that, so in January and February, uh, the department was considering what to do about textbooks for next semester. Um, and because it's getting very hard to find copies of the current, uh, textbook. Um, so we wanted to, to kind of figure out a new plan. And uh, what we decided to do was to go with this one, which is called Apex. Um, the benefit to this uh, is that it's actually free. Uh, it's a free open source textbook. So if you go to download, then you can download the book and that's that. Um, now we basically will be using um, the first volume of it, which is um, basically, you know, six chapters. This will line up pretty well with uh, what we've already done, um, and you can get it in color or black and white. Um, the uh, So, yeah, if you just download the PDF, well, there you go. It's free, um, and, and that's, that's pretty easy. Um, the uh, the other thing you can do if you want is if you go to purchase, you can buy. Um, so I'll click on this link here. You can buy um, a very inexpensive, basically print on demand copy for fifteen bucks. Um, so uh, if you want to have a, a paper version, then then you can get one easily. And if 15 bucks is going to break anybody's bank, then just let me know. And, um, uh, you know, I can help you guys out. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's a little weird, uh, this idea of switching books. Um, of course, if you do have your other book, great. You know, it, it doesn't hurt to have multiple calculus books. Um, and... Um, 
you know, we're at the point of the semester, though, where we'll be doing, like I said, a lot of applications and sort of other things. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, the other thing that I really, I, and in fact, I kind of wish that we had just used this book from the get-go for this semester, is um, all of the assignments, the, the homework from each section, uh, those are already pre-programmed into Infinity, and so basically I just click a few buttons and bam, homework is, uh, homework's there. Uh, so that's kind of my plan for how we'll do uh, the assignments from here um, for some assignments. For some things we'll have to do, um, you know, we'll do some mathematical modeling and, and things like that that are not going to make as good, um, uh, won't be quite as good homework for, like, you know, infinity kind of things, but something more project based. Um, Ethan, your question about the exam stuff earlier, we'll kind of, you know, we'll be doing more project y kind of deep stuff um, just because we're sort of forced to. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, so let's just kind of recap. Um, seems like Twitch is working for everybody. Um, that's great. Um, Discord for audio chat. Um, that will be particularly useful when we're, you know, doing quote office hours type thing. Um, and to do audio chat back and forth and, uh, you know, I'll stream those sorts of things in terms of schedule. Um, I'm not really sure like what, we should schedule in terms of office hours type thing, just because um, there's a lot of uncertainty as to how things are going to work on campus for the next, well, um, you know, week. I'm in my office uh, at the moment, um, but, you know, I can see very, very easily that the college says go away. And uh, so I'll have to figure out how to work from home. Um, yeah. Okay. So recap. Um, grab a, um, grab the PDF for the first part of Apex. Um, you guys are already on Infinity, so that nothing's new there. I'll start posting some new assignments, um, to kind of get things going. Um, and, uh, course notes from, uh, sort of the virtual Blackboard on my iPad. I'll link to the PDF where those things will be on uh, Canvas so you can get to them. Um, yeah, okay. Um, am I leaving anything else out? Any other questions, thoughts, comments? Looking to the Discord, I mean the uh, Twitch stream to see if uh, you guys have any questions. Oh, you're good. Okay. Um, when should you expect to see assignments updated on Infinity? Uh, probably today. Uh, today, tomorrow. Um, so I've already started getting some things imported, and uh, I'll post, uh, get those live for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> and you'll, um, it's going to take me a, a little bit to get them working. Um, Mostly just because we have to, I have to link everything through Canvas, and that is kind of a step-by-step -step process, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but just for um, your edification, the sort of things that we did kind of at the end of, uh, just before break, we had done chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, um, implicit differentiation, those sorts of things, which are very... Um, drill heavy in terms of uh, problems. So um, so I'll post those assignments basically immediately um, for um, for the Adfinity stuff um, so that you guys can work through the drill of doing the product quotient chain rule and so on. Um, and then we'll kind of move on from there. So um, yeah, I'm, my plan basically is after class, once I find some coffee, um, is to, to get some of the, the next couple weeks roughly 
um, of Infinity stuff uploaded and ready to go uh, so that we can get going. Um, in terms of covering material, um, we'll, uh, we'll resume basically discussions of things on Wednesday. Um, what I'd like to do Wednesday is basically talk, um, refresh ourselves a little bit about implicit differentiation so that we can start talking about derivatives of inverse functions and then related rates, um, which is an application thing. So yeah, so we'll kind of recap um, implicit differentiation Wednesday and get the cobwebs cleaned out and then kind of go from there. Um, right, okay, uh, other questions? Oh, the photo app. Um, I think it's called Cam Scanner, like Cam is in camera or Cam Bacon. Um, yeah, let me just Google real quick. Um, oops, would help if I could. Um... So yeah, so this is one of the one of the such apps. Um, Um, but, um, there's probably lots of others. Um, yeah, so actually this is sort of interesting. There was a big security bug in it. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that that's been, um, that's been fixed by now. Um, but basically what, um, how this will work is when you scan something, you just basically take a picture of it. And instead of it looking like a piece of paper on a table, then it'll sort of magically turn it into a PDF. Um, that's probably the easiest thing that we can do um, unless you happen to have an actual scanner at home, you know, like uh, your, uh, if you have like a multifunction printer that has a scanner or something like that, um, then obviously you can use that. But cam scanner, I've had guys use it in the past and, it's not ideal. I think the um, the um, copiers and proper scanners do a much much better job of it, but it's um, better than nothing. So um, yeah, so look around on the app store for that or things sort of like it, um, and uh, that will hopefully be useful for you guys. Okay, so good question. Um, Uh, anything else? Crickets. Nope. No other questions? All right. Well, um, if there are no other questions immediately, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, shut this thing down. Um, so, um, yeah, pay attention to Canvas uh, for announcements. And, of course, you can always find me in the Discord um, chat. In, or, um, and, in fact, let me actually uh, open that up real quick. Um, Okay, so yeah, here's uh, here's the Discord chat, <coughs> um, and um, over here on the side, I've got uh, four text channels, three for each of my classes, and then one just sort of um, um, general, and then the voice thing. Um, so kind of hang out there. This will be a pretty uh, easy way that we can communicate back and forth. Um, uh, everybody, even if you're not, uh, we're not live or, um, you know, if I'm not, uh, online at that exact moment. So, um, oh, cam scanner, I used it last semester, not super seamless, but got the job done. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. D did you have any other app? Uh, did you find another one, Mr. Young, that, uh, would 
maybe worked better for you or um, No. Okay. Um, all right. Well, yeah. So use uh, use Discord, basically the text, um, and we can chat. If anybody finds a, a scanner app that they think uh, is better than Cam Scanner or uh, some other alternatives, then just uh, post here in the in the calculus uh, chat window. Um, I'll send out. Um, um, some announcements and things on Canvas uh, so that it'll go to your email and whatnot about um, Edfinity once I get a few things um, tidied up there. And we'll just uh, keep this gravy train going. So, um, right. So I will see you guys um, all on Wednesday for class. Um, and um if you have questions or whatever you feel free to email me or use the discord chat um for most things the discord chat probably is a good good place because everybody will be able to see it and that way i'm only answering question once um so yeah all right well i'll go ahead and uh shut this down and i uh, will see you guys on wednesday